In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the Aztec clay mask and how you can easily use this to detox your hair and get the healthy curls you desire. Never fear, Reggie's here, and I'm here to assist you, your friends, and your family with natural hair. Before we go any further, I wanna let you guys know I will be giving out two bonus tips at the end, so make sure you stick around to find out those two bonus tips that can help you succeed on your natural hair journey. Before we really get into the video, go ahead, sub, sub count right here. <laughs> Okay guys, so what I did here was I went and bought me a cheap bottle of apple cider vinegar and mixed a couple of tablespoons of powder into a non-metal bowl until I got the perfect consistency. Start by wetting your hair in the shower. Doing this prior to cleansing your hair will loosen any tangles. If you are low porosity, then standing underneath the shower will benefit your wash days. Product application will be easier and that just equals to better results. This clay contains one ingredient, guys. That's pretty much just 100% calcium. Um, because of this, I really advise you guys to not use metal bowls and metal mixing tools. Maybe use something plastic, like a plastic spoon or something like that. Research shows using metal can cause a magnetic charge that can disrupt the clay mass benefits. My curls are starting to revamp, guys. Uh, make sure you guys are evenly distributing this from root to tip. Uh, this is a cleansing mask, so it's meant to lift product off that is, has product build up from your scalp and your ends. It's vital that you guys coat each strand, otherwise the mask won't work. Curls are coming together, the clumping is coming together. Light stunt, quick stunt, but we're gonna roll on to the next one. All right, guys, each session I went through now has been applied with the clay mask, and I'm pretty much good to go. Time to go on to the next step. The next step is to put on a shower cap. You guys wanna leave this mask in for about 15 to 20 minutes. After that, add a shower cap, plastic bag or saran wrap to trap the heat and the moisture. All right, guys, so next step, you guys want to go ahead and hop back into the shower. I recommend you use warm water, never hot. A big rule for most curly hair people is to rinse your hair with cool water. But using warm water, it will loosen up the mask. Uh, there is no need to use shampoo, guys. The Aztec Healing Clay does all the cleansing for you. Adding another cleanser could just strip your hair and your scalp of its natural oils. Moving along, now that you cleanse your hair, I recommend using aloe vera to strengthen and repair your hair strands. Coat your hair with aloe. When your scalp has been cleansed and your hair has been conditioned with aloe vera, you might notice that your hair breakage and hair loss slows down. There are pros and cons to using this. One pro is that your hair will benefit from this and it will look its best. And the con is if you are allergic to this, I will contact a dermatologist if you do experience negative things. But if you are just being itchy, it's okay. Um, that's normal. But if you have rashes, definitely seek professional help. The next thing on the list is the conditioner. This is the main choice, metabolism, met metabolism. I, I don't really know. I mean, I know it's purple and it smells like baby powder. Apply it thoroughly through my hair using the smoothing method. I'm gonna comb it straight through, ends the root, ends the root. Make sure you get that detangling nice and crisp, nice and crisp slow. Now, as you guys do this, you should be able to pretty much run your fingers straight through your hair if you would detangle properly. This is all the hair that I lost with that process. Time to hop in the shower and go ahead and rinse that conditioner out. Make sure you guys are detangling thoroughly. Now what I mean by that, you want to make sure your head is under the water as you're detangling. The reason I say you want to make sure your head's under the water because you will constantly get the moisture you're looking for. You'll constantly get more product because you're using less product. If you know, you know I'm bringing back an old friend. Lord, again. 
Ooh, this is one of my favorite deep conditioners right now because of its thick consistency. This thing will get into my strands and just slap box them until they say no moss. I'm gonna tell you right now, if you never use the Shea Moisture Honey Manuka thingy, make sure you pick that up, man, because that's OG for real. Deep conditioning is a procedure that you're using when you're coating your hair with a deep conditioner. You are restoring your hair's moisture and it strengthens to reduce damage that caused by any chemicals and styling products. All right, all wrapped up guys. Let's get into this deep conditioner. Blow dryer bar, Red Tornado Pro 2000, a hooded dryer. You guys, these are what I use on my wash days consistently, weekly, religiously. These will take your curls to the next level. I'm gonna wash my hair off camera and hop right into the styling process, but these are game changers you need. Today, I'm gonna to be using the styling cream from the main choice line, the Four Leaf Clover. I'm gonna be pairing it with a gel that I haven't used before, and it is called the Wet Line Extreme Gel. Many people know about it, but I'm gonna try it for myself. I want to make sure that when this process, because I'm doing it out of the shower, that I am going to be applying enough water to my hair to keep it moisturized through the entire routine. The one thing I don't want is dry hair when I'm doing a curly hair method because that's not moisturizing at all. So when you're doing it, guys, make sure you're going ends to root, detangling. You see how I'm getting through my ends? I'm constantly putting my hand fingers through my curls getting all the knots and tangles out that I may have gotten as I put my scrunchie on. Detangle thoroughly. Make sure you spritz your hair with water. The more water you have on your hair with product already on it equals more product. To the wet line stream gel. You guys don't need a lot of this gel. All only thing you're gonna need is maybe a dab or two in your hair. So once I put that in my hair, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how much I use. I'm gonna go ahead and smooth that through my ends of my hair, root, tip, tip, root. I'm gonna start detangling and getting my fingers through it. Now guys, the reason I keep saying detangling and preaching that because the more you detangle, the easier it's gonna be for your hair to be styled the way you really want it to be styled. The way you want it to last is the way your hair would like to last. To be honest, the more you detangle, the less products you use, if they're not being weighing down your hair, then it will last your wash and go that much longer now you guys can see my y2 comb is going through my hair pretty effortlessly at this point which tells me that my hair is being thoroughly detangled and it's ready to go as you can see it is i'm going to go in with some duck clips now yes duck clips i'm going to duck clip my root the reason i'm duck clipping my roots is because i want them to stay down and lay down it is the summertime it's humid your roots will puff up more than you want them to so make sure you use duck clips to keep your hair laid down properly. As you guys can see, I'm putting in styling product. My hair is a tangled, wet line of stream gel, detangle, going through effortlessly, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, the rinse and repeat method, thumbs up, shake, we're good. Going with the duck clips once more, lay down those roots so you don't want them to puff up. Boom, two sections done, let's go into the next. Right here, I'm using the Jamaican black cast oil to oil the top of my head right here. And I'm gonna go in and oil the edge of parts to keep that nice and crispy to make sure that I'm retaining all my hair. And you guys can see right now, this is the final result as it is wet. This is the work I put in with the styling process and ready to go. The only thing to do now is to put that bonnet on your head. So now I put on my first bonnet because I am put it on two of those things my first one because i don't want my pillow and my sheets nice and wet so i'll go on my second one put it on the head nice and tight nice and snug gonna keep your head nice and warm throughout the entire night it should dry up pretty nice and thoroughly throughout the night and the next day now guys i'm showing you my day one hair i did not separate anything at all this is just day one hair or you let your hair separate on its own throughout the week it's gonna it's gonna get bigger i'm letting it do that now I'm gonna show you guys my day three hair. Define curls for sure. Define all around. A little bit of a gel cast, but nonetheless, the results we were looking for. As you can see, me in the picture. This is day four. Guys, this is day five hair. Curls still popping. Um, this wash go will last me a week. Tip number two I got for you guys. If you guys wash day, your wash and go doesn't last your whole week. Don't fear, don't fret. 
say on day three, day four, you go ahead and take this. This is aloe vera in this. I took this, I scooped the aloe vera out, put it into a blender or a food processor, whatever you have in your home, go out and buy one if you must, and blend it up with about a cup of water, maybe half a cup of water. Put the aloe in there, just the gel, blend it up, pour it into a spread ball like this, and you can spritz your hair with it, just like that. Rub it into your hair. It'll actually kind of sense of weigh it down a little bit but it won't weigh it down in a way of your hair will feel heavy it'll feel moisturized because aloe vera is a moisturizing and you can be used as a sealant so go ahead and take those two tips guys let me know your results thanks for tuning in guys make sure you like and you subscribe for more videos i'll be dropping soon peace